it's useful to be able to estimate ballpark figures for various things. What that means is that you can take your prior experience and use some sound reasoning to get a rough idea of some quantity's value. For example, if I had this stack of papers here and I wanted to know how many sheets of paper were in here, I might just have an idea from working with paper how much paper there is. Or I could count every sheet, but I don't want to count every sheet. So what are my other options? Well, I could take and maybe count some fraction of these and say like here, we'll count just these ones and then multiply that by about how many groupings we have there, just looking at the distance there. So it looks like that's maybe a quarter of the stack. So we'll count some fraction of it, multiply by four. I don't have to count the whole thing. I get a reasonable estimate with a little bit less grunt work. Or to try and get a better idea, I can look at this and then I can say, I know in a standard ream of paper, there's 500 sheets. So this much is 500 sheets. And I can compare that with this much and see about how much is that? Well, a little over half, maybe. Maybe it's not quite as compact since it's kind of loose leaf here. So 250, 300, about how many sheets there are there is what I would estimate. What we can do is we can generalize this with some strategies and say that you can get big lengths from small lengths. As I mentioned there, like count a small number of papers and then multiply that out. So if you can kind of estimate and be like, well, this is a certain amount, it looks like it's about 12 of those, you know, you can estimate that out that way. You can get areas and volumes from lengths. So if I don't have a good idea for like an area, but I want to know like how much paint to cover the room with, I can get some lengths, multiply them out, get areas and volumes from that. You can get masses from densities and volumes using mass is equal to density times volume. And if you don't have other strategies, you can try bounding it. So finding something larger than it, something smaller than it, taking um, mean, geometric mean in this case, but however you want to do that. Um, for example, how much does a moose weigh? Well, I don't really know, but more than a human, yeah, probably. Maybe less than a car, probably. So you can kind of bound it there and get, get a ballpark figure from that. In general with estimations, one sig fig or significant figure is fine. Mostly we're trying to get in the right order of magnitude. And so you can kind of round it off to the right power of 10. Uh, if you want to know like what that is, order magnitude, you can use log base 10 for what that is. Diagrams can be useful as well. So that's the basics of estimation.